Hey guys, it's your girl Niyoshi, and I want to thank you for tuning into this frequency called Niyoshi Hypno. <laughs> I'm a clinical and transpersonal hypnotherapist, best known for my hypnosis and past life regression sessions. I believe that we're here, we're each placed here in this earth at this time, this very unique, specific time on earth uh, for a particular reason. Um, me, my purpose is to assist with, um, I guess you could say the ascension, somebody would call, but, um, my purpose here in this life is to help you heal your soul, break through blockages and align with your divine purpose. I do this through my sessions. Um, I also, in my sessions, help connect with your guides, ancestors, um, and be able to understand and hear your higher self more clearly. Um, I am not for everybody. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. But if you're here, I feel like your guides have led you to me because I hear that a lot of my sessions. Your guides have led me, led you to um, this video, which means that there's something in it for you. And I'm, you know, blessed. I feel blessed and thankful to be able to assist you um, and receiving whatever information you might receive from this video. This video that I'm going to show with you right now. It's unique. It's very special. Um, all of my sessions are. But I wanted to share this specific video with you um, as I have my other videos. Um, keep in mind, I did get permission from my clients to share this session. Um, so it may not be, you know, be, most likely it's not the whole session, but you have a very important part of the session um, that may hold something for you. And I hope that you can get something out of this. So in a second, I'll show you that video. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this whenever they're posted. You can also click the bell there to get an alert whenever it's posted. Um, if you like this video as well, be sure to thumbs up, share with someone you think that might, it may be able to help as well. Um, okay, I guess that's enough to talk about me and everything else. <laughs> Here's a video. I hope you enjoy. Lane. Lane, what are you laying on? The ground. The ground. What's the temperature like there as you lay on the ground? Cool. Be that? Cool. Cold. What are you wearing? Trust your first impressions. A gown. A gown. Mm -hmm. It's a long or a short gown. To my knee. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing on your feet there? Nothing. Mm hmm. How do you feel there? Tired. Tired. Mm -hmm. Describe your hair. In a cap. Repeat that. It's in a cap. In a cap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What color is your skin there? Brown. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing any jewelry or accessories anywhere on your body? No. Mm -hmm. As you're laying there. On that ground. What thoughts are going through your mind? Why? Repeat that. Why? Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Tell me more. I just don't know why. Don't know why what? Why I'm here like this. Mm -hmm. This place that you're in, does it feel like a place where you live nearby or a place where you're visiting? It just feels like work. Repeat that. It feels like the wood. Repeat that again. It feels like the wood. The woods? Do you feel like you live nearby or is this a place where you're visiting? I'm near here. I live near here. You live near there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you notice around you as you lay there? It's just dark. Mm -hmm. Trees and leaves on the ground. Mm-hmm. Kind of like fall. Mm -hmm. It's just dark. Mm -hmm. You feel like you've been there for a long or short period of time? Feels like a day. Repeat that? It feels like it's been a day. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about what's happening there. I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just all by myself. Mm -hmm. On the ground, 
Nobody sees me. Mm -hmm. And I'm alone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. What do you want? I don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. Nobody's here. I don't know where anybody is. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember why. Mm -hmm. Or how I even got here. Mm -hmm. So let that scene play out there to see what happens next. Tell me what's happening. The sun. I'm starting to see the sun. Repeat that. I'm starting to see the sun. I can see it with the day time. Mm -hmm. What does go through your mind there as that happens? I'm happy. Because I can start to see the around me. Repeat that. I'm really happy because I can see what's around me. Mm -hmm. What do you notice? The trees and fire. Fire? Mm -hmm. Trees and fire. Tell me more about that. The fire. I don't know why. Where is this fire? Near my house. Near your house? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How far away are you from this fire? Or how close? Let's say about. Repeat that. Um, it's far, but I can see it in the distance. Mm -hmm. Describe your house. What does it look like? A little wooden cottage. Mm -hmm. Just burning. A little wooden cottage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought something in your mind when you see your house. It hurts me. Repeat that. It hurts me. Hurts you because? My husband was there. Your husband was there? He was there. Repeat that. He was there. Was where? They were in the house. My husband was in the house. He was burning. And the house is on fire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. They burned my house. Who burned your house? Hey, people. Describe these people. They were just dead. Repeat that. They were bad. Bad people? Do these bad people look like you or are they different? They were white. And they burned you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Was your husband, your husband, your husband the only person in that house or were there others as well when it was burnt? Mm -hmm. Tell me about your children. I feel like a head. Children and my grandkids. Wow. Seven of your grandchildren in the house? <laughs> my grandkids. My wow. house. Mm -hmm. You don't bother anybody. Mm -hmm. That's a nice family. That's wanted to be mm -hmm. able to live and eat with the trees and mm -hmm. nature. Repeat that. I just wanted to be with the trees and the nature. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like us. They wanted us out. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. They wanted, they wanted me out of there. They wanted my land. Mm -hmm. They had all kinds of trees and had fruit. I just see fruit. I see plants. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my shoulder got hurt. Mm-hmm. 
Tell me more about that. Repeat that. We wanted my land. Mm -hmm. Anything that grows here is a lot. Always a lot. Mm -hmm. One seed turns into me into a lot of plants, into a lot of seeds. Mm -hmm. I love my land. I love my family. Mm -hmm. What name does your family call you? What's your name? I see Josie. Josie, what year is it for you there? 1903. 1903? Mm -hmm. where, where do you live, Josie? Alabama. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So let the scene play out there, Jazzy. Tell me what happens next there. I feel like I'm crawling on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I start talking to the tree. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? Help me hide me. And just keep asking them to hide you. Mm -hmm. Help me. Mm -hmm. I feel bind coming mm -hmm. around me. Mm -hmm. It's like they're covering me up. Mm -hmm. My hands are dirty. Mm -hmm. Cold because the sun is coming up and I'm scared. I'm scared they're going to find me. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and I want to see where Joe is. See. I think he did. To see where who is? Joe. Who's Joe? My husband. Mm -hmm. I think he's gone. Gone. So let that scene play out. What happens next there? Tell me more. That's your first step. Mm -hmm. You know, frozen. I can't move. I can't. I can't move. I'm scared. I'm praying that the vines in this tree don't hide me. I'm scared to breathe. I'm scared to move. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm looking down, down to the ground. I can't see. Mm -hmm. I just see the fire. I hear a voice that's yelling. Mm -hmm. What does the voice say? It's Josie. It's Josie. They're calling for me. But I'm scared to come out because I don't know if I can trust that voice. Mm -hmm. It's a, a girl. Mm -hmm. She's calling for me. Mm -hmm. She's not my daughter, but she lives down the road. Mm -hmm. and she's calling for me, but I'm scared. I won't move. I see her. She's panicking. And she looking all around looking for me and she just keep yelling my name and she start crying i don't want her to cry i love her she's like a daughter to me mm -hmm. so i climb down and we are hiding i go to her and she hugs me mm -hmm. describe your daughter it's not my daughter it's my neighbor your neighbor, describe her. She was like a light brown, like golden skin. And her hair is black. And she got it in like two fat corn rolls. And she's turning 
medium size, a little taller than me. Mm-hmm. And she happy to see me and she just hugged me and she's crying. And she start walking me towards her house. But I'm limping. I'm hurt. Yeah, any communication between you and her there? She just want to know what happened. Mm-hmm. When you tell her. They came and they burned it. And she just start crying. And she said, I told you. I told you they weren't going to leave you alone. And I told you. Mm-hmm. And I said, they can't have it. They can't have it. We at our house. And she looks at my hand. My hand is bruised. It's cut up. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to clean it with a rag. And I sit in this little wood chair. The husband makes furniture. Mm-hmm. And he got a nice chair. And I'm sitting in it. And she wrapped my hand. Because it's cut. And she looked at my shoulder. Mm-hmm. My shoulder is burnt. It's burnt. And she put this wet rag on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. It hurts. It hurts. What thoughts go through your mind as she does that? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. But they can't hear my language. They can't have it. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to have it. Mm-hmm. If they take it from me, I curse it. You if think they, that? If they take my land from me, I'm a curse it. Mm-hmm. And we will never be able to grow another thing ever. Mm-hmm. They can't have it. It's mine. And I'm willing to die because they're not going to do it. Well, let that scene play out. Anything else significant happened there that day? No, it's just nighttime. And she tells me to stay here. I don't go back. Mm-hmm. I tell her, okay. Mm-hmm. What thoughts go to your mind at that, that night? I got to go back. Mm-hmm. I gotta go back to my home. I gotta see what's best. Mm-hmm. Gotta see what's best. Right. Your friend, what's her name? Your neighbor, what's her name? I hear Annabelle. Annabelle. I want you to connect with the energy of Annabelle. Does her energy remind you of anyone in your current life? My oldest daughter, Taylor. All right. Well, go ahead and let that scene close. Close that scene. In a moment, I'll count from three to one. You'll be in another significant event in that same lifetime. The same lifetime there is Josie. Three, two, one. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. I'm in front of my house. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? I feel the same age. Mm-hmm. Are you alone or with others there? No, Annabelle. I'm in front of my house. Repeat that. I said we standing in front of my house. Who's with you? That's Annabelle and me. Mm-hmm. How do you feel there? I feel so sad. My heart is broken. Mm-hmm. What do you notice there? It's just burnt and nothing. It don't look nothing like my house. Mm-hmm. What thoughts go through your mind there? I'm going to get them back. Mm-hmm. 
I kneel down. I just start to pray. And I pick up the sword in my hand. And I curse the soil. And what is it that you say to curse the soil? I don't remember the word, but I curse it. Mm-hmm. And you will bear no more fruit. Mm-hmm. You're barren. You're barren land. If I'm not the one planting the seed, you will sprout no more. My heart hurts. Mm-hmm. My heart. And Annabelle, she's trying to get me up off the green. Mm-hmm. And I stand up, but I'm weak, and I hold my chest, and I just start crying out to Joe. Mm-hmm. I love Joe. Very good. Anything else you're going to going to happen at that day? I feel like I'm dying. Mm-hmm. Because my heart hurts. My heart is so bad. Mm-hmm. I don't want to live without my Joe. My grandbaby gone. I don't see that. I don't have anything left. Mm-hmm. It's nothing I live for. So anything else significant happened there that day? Annabelle. Trying to pull me along, but I won't move. Mm-hmm. I'm so hurt. I can't move. And she's trying to pull me because she hears footsteps. Mm-hmm. Not, I won't move. So she runs. Mm-hmm. Me back. Stay back. Me. Looking at me. Mm-hmm. How many are there? Five. Mm-hmm. What do they do when they see you? They look dead because they thought I was dead. Because when I ran away, I was on fire. They thought I died. Mm-hmm. So it's like they see a ghost. Mm-hmm. I raise my hand and I point my hand towards them and I start cursing those evil men and the horses do one of them and all five of them ran away. Repeat that? The horse mm-hmm. do one of the men on the ground because he got scared mm-hmm. and ran away the horse did. Mm-hmm. Well, I start talking to the horses because I know that one heard me. And I told the horses, protect me and do me no harm. And that these men came to hurt me, and they already hurt my family. And I told them that God was going to curse them if they helped them. Mm-hmm. And the rest of the horses see the men on the ground. And so now it's just the you know, five men, but they scared. Mm-hmm. They scared because I, I am the earth. I am the earth. Mm-hmm. And I called on the earth to help me. To help me because these evil men cannot have my land. They can't have it. I won't let them have it. And I call on the tree. And I call on the animals. 
and I call on my guardians and I call on all my ancestors and I just start cursing. And the wind start blowing and the trees is blowing and I feel like I'm at a war but I got an army and these five guys say the cowards. Can they say anything to you as you're doing that? I'm confused, asking what's going on. I told them you can't change my land. I first, my land, if you kill me, you kill this land. One so scared, he started walking away and calling to me. Tell him, get this nigga. And they want to come after me. And they start coming, but they trip one trip over a tree branch. They kind of like a root that stuck out the ground before a root, and his foot got caught. Mm-hmm. And that root and he fell. So now the rest are scared. I know. I call back to the earth, the horse that ran away at first. And that horse comes back and gets me. And I'm gone. I get on the horse. And I'm gone. I go back to Mm Annabelle. And that's it. How do you feel after that? I feel powerful. Hmm. What mm-hmm. thoughts go through your mind there? They just can't have my land. I'm willing to die. You just can't get it. Hmm. Okay. Anything else significant happened there that day? One of our one know where I got the horse from and I told her. And she said, Mama, you know they're going to come get you, Miss Josie. They're going to come get you. And I told the baby, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Mm-hmm. I'm more powerful than they are. Because I'm the earth. I know who I am. I know who I am. Very good. Very good. All right, Josie, let's go ahead and close that scene. Close that scene. I want you to go to another significant event in that same lifetime. There's Josie with something important happening. Be there now. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. I'm having a baby. How old are you there? 23. Mm -hmm. Are you alone with others there? My Joe. Mm-hmm. My Joe is there. Mm-hmm. And his mama. And she there. Mm-hmm. How do you feel there? I feel happy. Mm-hmm. What thoughts are going through your mind there? I'm going to be a mama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you connect with the energy of Joe there, do you recognize his energy as anyone in your current life? No. Mm-hmm. Any communication between you and Joe there? He's just happy and holding my hand. Mm-hmm. He's me, he's telling me he loves me, he kissed my hand. And his mama is like she at the foot of my bed. Mm-hmm. Put a bucket and some claw. Mm-hmm. And she got claw and she's sitting at the end of my bed. Mm-hmm. And communication between you and his mom? He's telling me to relax. It's going to be all right. I'm just happy. Mm-hmm. 
Anything else significant happened there that day? Mm -hmm, my baby. Mm -hmm, it's a boy or girl. It's a boy. I think it's not a Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with Jacob's energy. Do you recognize his energy as anyone in your current life? I think I feel like my son, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let that scene play out there. See if anything else significant happens there that day. I had, I had Jacob. He comes out. He's blue. And his cord twisted around his neck. Mm -hmm. But Joe Mama, she delivered a lot of babies and she know what to do. Hmm. And so she start praying over him and rubbing his back and she put the cord cool from around his neck. And he start crying. And I hold my hand out for my baby. Mm -hmm. And she put him in my arm. And then he get quiet. And my Joe, he, he's so happy. <coughs> Okay. My Joe loves me. My Joe loves our baby Jacob. Mm -hmm. And it's just us. Mm -hmm. He's so happy. We together. Okay. Anything else significant happen there that evening? No. Very good. I want you to go ahead and close that scene, Josie, close that scene. I want you to move to another significant event in that same lifetime there, again, with something important happening. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. My son, Jacob, he got a girlfriend. Oh, I see. How old are you there? I feel like I'm about 40. Mm-hmm. And Jacob got a girlfriend. And he brings her to me. Mm -hmm. Her name is Annabelle. Mm -hmm. I think the girl that called me Mama Josie, she, she Annabelle, the one that got me off the wood. Mm -hmm. My Jacob, he, he was Annabelle. Mm -hmm. And he come in, me and Joe, he say, Mama, I love this girl. And he want to, he want to be with her. He want to marry her. He want to see if he like her. Mm -hmm. And so I, I asked Annabelle, I said, let me hold your hand. And I, I stand in the, in the yard. Mm -hmm. With no shoes, and I hold a hand because I get my messages from the dirt. And I hold a hand, and Annabelle's a good girl. Mm -hmm. and she, she calm my brain and with long black hair. And my Jacob, he just smiling, and he go, he golden too. Mm -hmm. And her, she feels good. She feels like a good girl. Mm -hmm. So I tell my Jacob, I say, Mama, bless us, y'all. And I told him, all oh, my land is your land. Mm -hmm. And I bless you to have a family. Mm -hmm. And Jacob said he don't want to go far because he's my only kid, my only boy. How does that make you feel? Happy. And Annabelle, she seems happy. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a hug and it was warm. And it was happy. 
Okay. So, we make a house on my land, but it's miles away from my house. Mm-hmm. How much land do you have? I feel like over 100 acres. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of land, mm-hmm. a lot of trees. A lot of fruit, a lot mm. of vegetables. Mm-hmm. I got a lot, a lot, a lot. Mm-hmm. I got animals. I got a lot. And my Joe, he built this house. He built us a nice house. It's not a shack house. It's a cottage like house mm-hmm. with a porch. And my Jacob, he makes furniture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jacob, maybe a rocking chair. And I sit on that porch and I look at my room. Me and Joe. And we hold hands and I see all our land. Good. Good. Anything else significant happened there that day? And about having a baby. I'll be there. I say forty five. Mm-hmm. She having a baby. I'm happy her stomach beat. Mm-hmm. Very good. He has me. Joe, he's telling him the importance of being a day. Mm-hmm. And how special being a day is. And how to love Annabelle. Mm-hmm. And love him and her so your kids can see how to be loved. My girl's so sweet. My girl, I love him so much. Mm. Mm. And you killed my girl. Mm. Mm-hmm. Anything else significant happen there that day? No. Very good. So I want you to go ahead and close that scene, Joe, to close that scene. I want you to move to the very last day in that life to see how that body dies. Be there now. Tell me what's happening. I'm going to be. How old are you there? 67. Are you alone or with others there? With others. Who are you with? My Jacob. My Annabelle. Mm -hmm. I feel like a new little baby. And Jacob, is that your son or someone else? And Jacob's my son. Mm-hmm. And the bell hurts. Mm-hmm. Are you there with them both? Yeah. And, mm-hmm. the, and the baby. Mm-hmm. About 10 months. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. What's happening there? I'm basically around my bed. I feel like I got a fever. Mm-hmm. My thoughts go to your mind here. I'm ready to go. I feel like I told Annabelle best I could so she could protect the land and I told the ancestors to help her. And I told the earth to help Jacob. Mm-hmm. Because it's his land and I want him to know. Never let nobody have this land. Mm-hmm. It's ours. And our ancestors here to protect each Jacob. And then Annabelle, I love you. 
She was the daughter I never had. My breath is getting slow. Mm -hmm. My eyes getting heavy. Mm -hmm. My brother. I see my Joe. <laughs> my Joe. He's here. Mm -hmm. I go to my Joe. Mm -hmm. And he has me to see me. Have you left your body? Has your soul left your body yet? Yeah. He's still hugging me. Mm -hmm. And he said he waited for me. Mm -hmm. And he's been waiting for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy. Mm -hmm. 